Ah, really freezing. Ah, it's like the coldest day ever right now. My goodness ladies and gentlemen we're in Oregon at home and uh, you're not gonna believe how we're starting this vlog off chucking in a pillow because it's the last thing I gotta load in the car check this out that's a surfboard that's a ski bag wetsuits camping equipment we're starting the first vlog off in Oregon right I got skis in the top surfboard in the bottom and today I'm going up to the mountain with my homies and then driving all the way to the Oregon coast for a surf and camp mission. Surfing's not quite like Hawaii, but uh, you know what? We're gonna have a good time anyways. All the sickos are coming. Some of them you've already seen before. Some of them you've never met. Here we go, I gotta go pick some boys up. First stop the mountain and then to the surf. Let's get it. Well, we're pulling up, ladies and gentlemen. You know this man. Oh, Reese is back in action. The last time you saw him, we linked up over my winter break trip to HUD, and Grease was shredding because the kid rips. But he's back and he's coming on this snow to surf mission with me. As well as some of my two best college friends that I haven't seen in years. Their names are Avery and Mikey. Back when I went to school in Bozeman, Montana, these were like some of the guys that I became best friends with. And I haven't seen them in years because I've been out in Hawaii. And they're here in Hood visiting. And they're coming along for the ride too. You're about to meet them. We're also at the Sicko's headquarters. We rented out a warehouse this summer to have all our shenanigans go down in. I'll show you that as well. It's all really exciting stuff. Good morning! Yeah, Michael and Avery. What up, buddy? Meet Michael. <laughs> Hello, Hello Michael. Yeah, we're, we're fucking. Meet Avery. What are you doing with my shotgun? Dude, it's gonna be in the morning. Running it, man. Cause you gotta warm up. I am sore and stiff. The boys from Bozeman are back in town, and they're gonna show you how it's done on the slopes today. Grease back. My people already know you. Hey, you tell them the plan for the day. Oh, I told them the plan. I'm gonna show them the, the, the sicko warehouse. Oh, nice. Check it out, people. This is the Sicko's Warehouse headquarters for the summer. It's in very early production, but we're getting this place going down. What's up, brother? Good, good. Good to see you. This is where all the filming's gonna go down. You gonna drop that in there? Ladies and gentlemen, Charlie Cohn, one of my best childhood friends since out the womb. You're meeting us at the coast, correct? Since out the womb? Since out the womb. We came out of the womb together. Pretty much. Okay, start. It's a very methodical practice. We need to open the face case. Jesus. That's how you wake up every morning at the Sicko Warehouse? You don't need to set an alarm here, dude. You just, you just get, get these guys in the morning. Oh, and that thing. It's like a whole freeway just right at your back door. I don't know how much more we can fit in here. <laughs> it's getting pretty full. I hope you don't like a back window, Jackson. No, it's all good. It's you're gonna be blind. All I need is a small crack. I tried. I don't know if we got enough stuff in here. Nope. We need a couple more bags. I don't need no more good reasons to leave the seasons. This breeze is Jesus. The seasons about as cool as my t-shirt. This shit. Oh, I just had to pull over on the side of the road. We are about 30 seconds from leaving, and Charlie called to inform me that the back is indeed open. We lost a couple of things. Then. Did we? We lost a little bag. Oh, oh no, what would we have lost? Uh, a couple of sleeping pads and a dop kit. Oh, Essential. Thanks, dude. You guys are like packing the car up and you're like, yeah, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> it was just fucking right in the back seat. How am I? Is it just that stuff? Yeah, it's just that. <laughs> so oh. funny. 
got my booties so and gloves funny. and wax and fins in here. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> brutal. Had enough of your summer, go leave and go back to Bama, Ohio. Why only wild out on the weekends? I'm on a surface safari with a stunner for certain, sir. I'm sorry if you only thought of putting just your feet in. Now repeat it. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, it is official. Pulling up to Timberline Mountain Resort, one of the most legendary resorts in the whole dang universe. Quite interesting, actually. It's uh, one of the only resorts, I think the only in the U.S., that's open year-round. We are skiing in late or early May, and uh, yeah, most places in the world never be able to do that. Also, they filmed The Shining, that horror movie, at the lodge. <laughs> Michael's teaching me something. My chair doesn't have a back on it. Are you kidding me, Dad? He told me this chair was great. I'm a liar. <laughs> It's gonna be too bad. Probably like be up there. Bang! Uh, all changed and ready, just like that. Up at uh, T Line, like I said today. Huge shout out to Timberline as well as they're hooking me up with a pass today. I love this resort. Again, one of the only mountains in the world that's open year round, pretty much. Skiing in the middle of the summer is a pretty trippy feeling, and especially if you're into park riding. This is the place to be. This is where all the best in the world come to ride some of the world's best terrain parks. You're gonna see it all go down today with some absolute rippers on the mountain. I'm going to pick up my pass right now, and then we're out there. All right, well, this is a major bummer. I just did a warm up lapse with the boys. Not sure for those of you who remember, but I torqued my knee a little bit surfing a while ago, and I didn't really feel anything since, but then got on the skis and tried a little bunny hop and instantly felt the knee freak out. So, super bummed on that, but uh, the good news is, is I love filming and I just get to follow Cam the boys all day now. So, Mikey, Avery, and you, Greece about to show us how it's done. They rip, and I'm dedicated to the cam today, just so we don't freak the knee out and hopefully I can surf oh. later. The boys are on, and you're about to watch an absolute exactly. show go down. My name is Avery actually, it's not Bert, but that's a long story. From Salmon Idaho. <laughs> and I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go see it. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Did you show the bottom? Bert! No! Is that the bottom? Oh, that. sheesh, bro. That was a good look. <laughs> that was a back slap and a half, Are man. You okay? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Josie oh, Peterson, God. one of my very, very, very good friends here. She's also a badass skier, and she's about to show you what goes down. 360 to backflip. I'm hearing the rumors. Okay, apparently Josie's got some rail tricks too, huh? Yeah, yeah. Oh my god! Nice place. Thank you. Michael, rumor has it you're on. I guess so. I'm gonna wait for these guys to go. Well, what are you gonna do in the meantime? Visualize.
okay. Yeah. <laughs> Michael. Oh, it's so improv after that. I didn't mean to go five and then I'm switch. And I'm like, okay, I'll try my first switch five. Oh, nice. And I knuckled. Does your brain feel okay? Yeah. A little heartbeat, but we're good. Bingo, bango. That's a wrap on an absolutely epic day at T-Line Timberline. Thanks again, Timberline, for hooking me up with a pass. That was uh, super fun. Really bummed I couldn't ride with the boys and send it. I really wanted to huck my carcass. And yeah, it's definitely a bummer that the knee's kind of still bothering me, but hopefully more than anything, once we get on the surf, I uh, hope hope it'll feel good. I've noticed that, um, I don't know, doesn't really doesn't really hurt too bad when I when I surf, but skiing, seems to be the sport that uses your knee more than anything so that was probably the worst place to test the knee but i'm glad i took it mellow and kept everything safe and i think we got some round clips of the boys so next stop load the skis in the rig and we're coast bound from snow to surf wow. Ladies and gents, look who it is. <laughs> Couldn't see anyone, but that was Caden, Charlie, and our buddy Max. We have made it to the surf spot. After a really long drive, I passed out, Grease took the wheel, filmed some shots, and we have teleported from the mountain to the ocean. There's not many places in the world you can do that. It's gonna be a really, really good end off to the day. Hopefully we score some waves. It's gonna be nothing like Hawaii. It's gonna be cold and it's gray and it's been sunny pretty much everywhere until we pulled up to the Oregon coast and now it's like cloudy again. It's kind of sunny, but kind of cloudy. It's just classic. Grease, how you feeling? Oh, great. Yeah, I had a couple naps while I was driving, so. Hello, Jay Birdian. How you feeling, dude? I'm feeling pretty good. What do you think it's gonna be like out there? Oh, I think it's gonna be windy and cold, but I think it's gonna be fun. <laughs> Did you see it? Actually, looked pretty good. It's like colder here than it was on the mountain. Just classic Oregon coast, just freezing and just so non-inviting, but it's really fun. We have Will. You guys remember Will? He looks like an old man, dude. What should we do to him? No. Let's go. I'm gonna go eat his food. This is Will's food. Damn, Will. This is sick work, dude. Oh, have you rode this thing yet, Will? I haven't. This is its maiden voyage. It is its maiden voyage. And look at the mariachi fan Wait, on the Wait, check that out. Check it out. Sneaky white sickos right. with the mariachi. Well, are you going to put a die cut sticker on this thing or are you just going to not do that? Charlie, well, I already put my phone number on it. Okay. Chicks, any, ladies. Wait, any hot girls? 541 645. Let me wipe off my finger. Can I have before some I touch of that, dude? No. Dude, are you. <laughs> Come here. Come here. <laughs> Look it. No! <laughs> Dude, it worked Smacked so it well. Off. What happened? Nobody won. He smacked it out out of spite. Yeah, you know that business lifestyle doesn't quite pay the bills. <laughs> Always a rock in there, dude. Remember how I said Michael doesn't really surf? <laughs> he hasn't been in the ocean in a long time. Well, I brought him this wetsuit <laughs> because he doesn't have one and no one can see him when he's in this thing. So he's, he's psyched about that. <laughs> all right, Michael, stay, come here. I'm gonna put you in this, all right? Okay. Oh, oh, there you go, Michael. You look good as ever. Feel, feel nervous, but we're ready. I got my twin fin Decoro. I wish I was on my Juni Customs, uh, but you know, I gotta choose the right board for the day and I think the twin fin's gonna be a blade today. So, thank you Wade Decoro, pumped to ride this thing. We're out there, Oregon Coast Mission, here we go. It's the pre-warm up there, I'll do it! Sit up and lift that bro, I've been trying to get in shape but I lift back slow, I've been chopping my tape, look at the drift that stone, need a girl with a waist to let it wave back, go way fast. It literally looks like a murdered out black Lamborghini. It's what it reminds me of. Black Juni Customs, ladies and gentlemen. You know what? Oh my god! Oh, that thing just shacked! I think I just saw a short sands barrel. That's rare. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Grease, come here. We got the whole crew out the back. They're about to go out. Me and Grease are about to go meet them. 
This is gonna be really fun. Reese, how good does it look? Dude, left side's looking epic. It actually looks epic. It's normally not clean and onshore and terrible conditions in Oregon, but it is one of the most beautiful places to surf in the whole world if you, uh, if you like cold water and trees. So we're out there. This is gonna be a sick sash, hopefully. And I also hope you can hear me. Surfing from Hawaii to Oregon. I won't let you down. Let's do this. I think I may have just found a girl I've been dreaming of seeming of leaving city for beach and up in my sneakers to pop in the tea quit up. I don't think I'm rocking fatigue enough, but she got this equipment dip dip with me. She be keen enough. Oh, oh my God, it's nothing better. Double beep. Yeah, I'm sorry. I am sincerely sorry here. You see, GoPros are like my favorite cameras in the world until they're not. In this situation, they were not my favorite camera in the world. You see, GoPros work incredible until you get them into cold environments like cold on the mountain or cold water, for this example, the Oregon coast. So to fill you in on what happened was, we went for this evening surf. It was the incredible, perfect day. We skied, drove to the coast, then got in the water. I was so excited to capture our surf session. The waves were actually so good for Oregon standards. And then, boom, two waves in, beep, battery dead. So I figured, oh well, I don't need to stress about it. It's okay, if the GoPro dies, the GoPro dies. That's how I gotta work with it. I, you know, I'm doing this to live and share you guys the way I see the world. And just have a good time, bring you along for the ride. So then I was like, but I gotta fill in my audience on what's happening next. So yes, we tried to surf, the waves were firing, I caught a few good waves, nothing too special. You didn't miss that much, but the GoPro died instantly. I wish the surf could have been longer, but we're gonna jump right into the next morning where we go for yet another surf. And uh, yeah, the GoPro dies pretty much instantaneously again, but there's a few clips, so just enjoy what, what we got. Here you go, this is the next morning. Bango! Just, uh, just, yeah, we're on the beach, I'm in the wetsuit, and we're going out for a surf. We'll try our best to get some clips. Chris, how you feeling? Oh, great, started. Ha <laughs> great! It's like when you're in the shower, and it's like, it's really warm, but it's winter, and so you know you're gonna get cold. That's exactly how I feel right now. It's like the reverse effect though. You're going into the cold shower after being slightly warmer. So it's kind of like, or, or when you slip and break your femur in the shower and you're sitting there for like six days and no one comes and gets you, so you have to start eating. Ah, really freezing. Ah, it's like the coldest day ever right now. How'd you go, Grease? How'd I go? It was cold. It's really cold. It was freezing. Uh, so much so that the battery of my GoPros died instantaneously yet again. So there's hardly any surfing to be shown, and I'm sorry for that. I have 5% left on this GoPro. I'm just gonna end it right now, and I'll see you back at the house. So boom, yep, we're back at the house because the, the GoPro died yet again. Super unfortunate, GoPros are the best cameras ever in my opinion, as you've seen in all my vlogs, I pretty much solely film on GoPros for the most part, they're easy, you have a fun time with your life, you can still enjoy your life while capturing the action, but 
It definitely sucks sometimes because they can be unreliable. Regardless though, at least we got a few clips. Uh, super bummed about my knee, you guys. I don't know what's going on. 90% of the time it feels totally normal. I can charge on it, I kite it hard, I surf pipe the best I ever have. I done all sorts of things on the knee and then I go for one little tail pop ollie first run on the mountain and it freaked out and I'm just like so confused on what to do. I'm, I'm scared. Regardless though, we pulled off the snow to surf. In my entire existence of living in Hood River, I actually never pulled that off, so it was rad to finally do it, and capture it. Went from the mountain to the ocean all in one day with some of my childhood best friends and some long lost college friends. Good times indeed. It's always super exciting for me to introduce you guys to all my characters that exist in my world and there's a lot of them. That was just a handful of them and uh, I'm excited to slowly unravel the curtain on all these people that I call my friends and it's cool for you to get to get to know them slowly but surely. On top of that, the Sickos project is moving extremely quick. As you guys saw, we have this incredible warehouse we're slowly building out. We're starting to film this coming week. Uh, productions just fully in place, balls rolling fast, we got companies behind us, it's all so exciting, and it all drops on June 5th. It's the first episode going live on the YouTube. Instagram, though, we've got sneak peeks coming next week. Since the surf session didn't go as planned, I figured, hey, we gotta give you some more content. You know, I wanna try and keep you entertained, and if you're all surfers out there, I'm sorry I let you down. I won't ever do it again, I swear. But I know something, that's just as entertaining as surfing. Unboxing boxes with Jackson Lipsack. We only have one box though, so it's gonna be quick. Skirt bat and bang, here it is. All I got's a pen to open it up with because as you can see, I'm in a new office space. Very grateful, by the way, for this incredible space. Look at this, unbelievable. Lucky enough to have a dad who worked really hard to build this shop and he's cool enough to loan it to his son who he has faith in for this dream I'm trying to build with YouTube, so. Very grateful to have this studio space. Thank you to the family for this. Who needs knives anyway? Oh yes, okay, you wanna see what this is? This is major. I talked about the sickos. Those that follow me know about the sickos. Well, you ever heard of sickos merch? Bye. Probably not, because we haven't announced anything about it, but you better believe it's dropping when we drop, and it's freaking sick. We got all our samples coming in right now. This is a hoodie we got. You better believe it's gonna look beautiful and feel comfortable and keep you warm. Looks like we got a t-shirt, nothing on the back, but embroidered sickos on the front. Let me just actually go like this real quick. I'm gonna pull a Jamie O'Brien. Sorry, Jamie. I don't mean to steal your idea, but... Oh, well, that's just too good of a transition. I can't, uh... I can't, I can't not do it. Anyway, yeah, Sicko's embroidered shirt. Look at this thing, swag money, huh? It's all coming together. We got one more thing. It's gonna be way too small on me, but, uh... It's kind of a big announcement, too, I suppose. Whoa, yeah, there we go, huh? So this, okay, big, big news. This is a sweatshirt. Well, obviously it's a sweatshirt, but who's the sweatshirt for? Because it's too small on me. Well, this sweatshirt is for Mia. Those of you that have been following me know Mia and probably know that we are indeed dating. Anyway, yes, this sweatshirt's for Mia. Mia gets here next week. I'm kinda jealous, the pink's almost my favorite. Mia, we got a good one for you, bud. Yeah, that concludes uh, unboxing boxes with Jackson Lebsack. That also concludes the merch reveal for the Sickos. Per usual, follow the Sickos Instagram and subscribe to the YouTube. It's all in the description below. If you're pissed about the surf session and you hated the video, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more because we got videos like this dropping every single no, in all seriousness though, you guys, I'm very, very grateful for each and every one of you. The support on these videos has been insane. I can't even believe it, you guys. We started in August, we're at 32,000 subscribers almost, and it just keeps on rolling. And I just, I, you're making a kid's dream come true that just loves filming and trying to share his view on the world. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And yes, you guys, videos every single Friday, 9 a.m. HST. Although that might change to PST sooner than later, cause now I'm Anyways, yes, 9 a.m. HST for now. Videos every single Friday. Like, subscribe, and I will see you next week.
she flying designer jeans But more likely lie by the ocean I live my life by the beach Ain't affected by effing traffic No more in the car to screech I don't bother with seeing people I hope they ain't mad at me I be open to visit But bitch, if I could come out and stay Then that means that you could come also It could work either way I don't work, but I'm my own tape Don't be hurt 